guys this is Joe Neville and in this series of videos I'm going to be showing you how to go from zero to network with OpenSwitch. Now there's a number of different approaches to this so I've broken your options into different videos. The steps involved are essentially the same. You need an OpenSwitch image in a Docker container that we will use in later videos to build a network. So your options to get the image are the long way, and that's to make it yourself, which I'll be covering in video two. But let's kick off with the quick way. Step one, get Linux. Step two, get Docker. Step three, run Docker run. Okay, step one, get Linux. A VM's fine. I'm using Ubuntu 14.04. This is a newly minted VM, which I've logged into here. I've run just an app get um, update and an upgrade. So step two is to get Docker, which is very easy. We just run this command. I'll put the commands in the description and there's a full write up on my blog. So I will pause and skip ahead. Okay, so now Docker is installed. We need to run this command using my username is Joe, so that will be your username to run as a non root user. After that, we log out. Okay, so I've logged back in and we're on to step three already. So now we need to run docker run. Okay, so this is the docker run command. And to break it down, what we're doing is we're going to be building a docker container with the name of ops1. And I'm using the repository that I've built. So this is the image that I've made myself and I've pushed up to the Docker Hub repository. So the fact that it isn't local means that the Docker run command will go off and search this repository and download the open switch image from there. So it's unable to find it locally, goes off to Docker Hub and begins the download. As you can see, it's downloading. You're free to make the build yourself and push a Docker image to your own Docker Hub repository. I've already done this one and I'll be keeping this relatively regularly updated. So until there is an official release of OpenSwitch, you can also grab your OpenSwitch image from my repository. So while that's downloading, I will skip ahead. So the image has finished downloading. Docker is extracting it now, as you can see. And the docker run command combines the download and the build of the container named ops1 in a single command. So now it's run with docker ps. We can see that we've got a container with the name of ops1. If you do a docker network inspect bridge, you can see here, I'm going to SSH onto it as root. So this is the container. If we do IP add, we can see the IP address. So this isn't actually OpenSwitch. OpenSwitch is running on this container. To log into OpenSwitch, we run VTYSH. And now we're actually on OpenSwitch. This is OpenSwitch, show version. And you can see that we're on OpenSwitch. You can do question mark to see different commands. Conf T brings you into configuration. So that's how to get an open switch image in Docker the quick way. In 
the next video I'll be showing you how to make a Docker image yourself and then in later videos I'll be showing you how to use these open switch images in Docker containers to build a network. But that's all for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.